So here we are going to look at how to find the range and standard deviation of a data set. I've got a data set up here. We want to find the range and standard deviation and we are going to do this using our calculator. If you don't know the formula for standard deviation at this point, your calculator can do it for you and it's much easier to learn how to do it in your calculator than it is to memorize and use the formula, which has a lot of steps um, depending on how many data items you have. So let's go ahead and um, figure out how we're going to do this. The range, first of all, to figure out what the range is, range, well, that is the difference between the highest and lowest data points. So in this case I need to go up here, look and see what my lowest number is and what my highest number is, and then I need to set up highest minus lowest equals range. Okay, so it looks like here my highest number is 61. So I'm going to do 61 minus my lowest number is 57. Plug that into my calculator because it's very, very late at night and I don't trust myself to do the <laughs> subtraction in my head. 61 minus 57, it better be 4, it's 4. So our range in this case is 4. Now to find the standard deviation, you've got this process that we've learned about in class where you find the mean, then you find the deviation of each item from the mean, then you square that, then you add the squares, divide by, it, uh, it's a long complicated process. I'd much rather show you guys how to do this in your calculator um, and I'm going to show you probably the most foolproof way. You can't mess it up. We're going to go ahead and do this in our calculator. So to do standard deviation in the calculator, and I guess I need to find a place where you can see the data and see the calculator. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is go second data and that's going to get us into our stats menu. You should see this one var, two var, and if you arrow over you're going to see clear data. That is the first thing you need to do. In case there was any information saved in there, you want to make sure it's all gone. So we're going to hit enter when clear data is underlined. So that's the first thing that you need to do. Now what we're going to do is enter the data. And we're just going to go point by point, okay? Um, you could you could look at this and say that 57 shows up four times, okay? So if we do 57 and hit the down arrow, you don't want to hit enter, hit the down arrow, it's going to ask the frequency. So I have a choice here. I can either put all of the 57s in now, 57, 57, 57, 57, there are four of them. I could change that to four, or I can leave it at one and then just keep moving through my list. Then I don't have to keep track and reorganize stuff. So down arrow and now I'm on to my X2, the second item in my list. 61, down arrow, there's one of those. 57, down arrow, there's one of those, down arrow. 57, I'm just going straight through the list. I'm putting the 57's in every time I see them and then down arrowing past the frequency, 58, down arrow, 1, we're all done. Now what we need to do to get our standard deviation at this point is hit stat var. That's right next to the data button, kind of underneath the, the uh, arrow buttons here. If we hit that, it's going to give us this menu here. This first thing, N, tells us how many items were in our list. So if you want to double check to make sure you entered everything correctly, you can count and make sure that this matches up. So this should have, my list should have six items. One, two, three, four, five, six. So maybe you chose to enter all of the uh, 57s at the same time um, and you miscounted and you only ended up with five things in your list, then you need to go back and re-enter the data to make sure that you got it all in there. 
So I have six items in my list. If I go over with the arrow, I get this X bar. That tells me the mean. I'm not looking for the mean right now. I am looking for the standard deviation. And that's going to be it right here. Um, where is my standard deviation? Make sure I have the right information here. Uh, no, I entered something wrong because that answer is not right. Let's try again. I'm going to go into my stat menu, clear everything out. I'm going to have to go back and watch the video and figure out where I made the mistake. But So, I need to type data. I have 57 and that showed up once here. 61, that showed up once. 57, 57, 58, 57. Okay, here we go. Statvair. Six items. The mean is 57.83. There we go, standard deviation. That's what I was looking for. It's telling me it's 1.60208.1979. Standard deviation, we are going to round to two decimal places. So for the standard deviation, after entering that in my calculator, standard deviation, it from the calculator, it gave me, not the calculator equals, calculator gave me 1.60208.1979, but standard deviation, I round to two places, that gives me 1.60 in this case. And I honestly think that learning how to do it in the calculator is going to be much more simple than doing it um, through that long process where we square stuff and take square roots and figure out the mean, um, all sorts of things going on. Here we just enter a list of numbers into our calculator. But what we saw during this video was that if you enter the wrong information, you're going to get a wrong answer. So you need to be very careful when you're entering the data. Um, let my mistake serve as a warning to you. Um, if you have time when you're done taking the test, it couldn't hurt to go back and double check um, whether or not you entered information correctly. Anytime you use your calculator, going back and re-entering things just kind of gives you a little extra security that you've entered the right information into your calculator. So this here was finding the range and standard deviation. Again, range is the difference between the highest and lowest data points. In this case, that was 61 minus 57 equals 4. And the standard deviation we entered into our calculator. We used the second stat button. So second, and then click on the data button and moused over to clear out any data that might have been in our calculator already. And then we use the data button to enter all of the information from our data set. And then we use the stat ver button to find the standard deviation. And the standard deviation we found, the first thing, when you open that window, the first thing you're going to see is N. That's the number of items in your data set. The next thing you'll see is X bar, that's the mean, and what we want is the third thing over. This SX, that is the standard deviation, and it gave us this big long decimal which we rounded to two places and found 1.60 as our answer. Always round to two places. And that is standard deviation and range and my calculator, not my calculator, my cell phone, once again thinking I'm talking to it.